Hey everyone, Matt here with the fish tank, and today uh, I haven't got these plumb to drain into my sump just yet. Uh, that's coming, but um, or my Ranchu slash Aranda little farm. <laughs> but anyways, this is my sump tank, and I have it buried in the ground, and I do aquaponics with it. So like, I grow I grow bell peppers and stuff like that, and um, I planted onions, and you know. Anyway, so. Uh, I want to start parsing out the solids though. If you look at the bottom of the tank, you can still see some of the solids down there, even though it doesn't build up very much in here. But it does build up in my little um, my little area right there. Like I get a lot of fish solids there, and then I'm sure I got a lot of them in here. But my worms are pretty much taken care of them. Um, but I want clean tanks, um, so uh, I want to get out as much of the solids as I can and. I was thinking about doing a filter with this barrel to where um, the water gets pushed up through a bunch of different sized gravels and then it spills back into the sump. But um, me doing aquaponics, I know uh, several different filters and one of them that I'm thinking I'm going to start with because I can get the barrels for free. Um, but one of them I'm thinking about doing, well I'm not thinking, I'm going to do is a uh, swirl filter. So basically what happens is, um, you know, let me take you around to the other side so I can show you basically um, how I'm gonna farm it. All right? <laughs> See, these are the solids I basically wanna get out of the system, okay? All right, now I can explain it a little bit better here, okay? And sorry about the mess. It's basically, I'm gonna end up having everything boxed in with these pieces of wood around these and stuff, um, but for now, I'm doing it this way. So, that is my fish tank, okay? Right now I have some Mirandas in there and a bunch of ugly looking goldfish um, that I'm gonna try to rehome. Um, but basically, uh, this pipe right here, this is called the, this thing in here is called the SLO or the slow. And basically what it does is I have the water coming in from the sump tank, see this pipe right here? I have the water coming up and into the sump tank or into this tank, right? it fills up constantly, right? And as it fills up, it needs to drain, and it'll drain out of the, 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 basically the only hole that's here, which is right here, okay? So what it does is, since I have this pipe, there's a pipe with a drain uh, shower fitting going all the way to the bottom, what happens is, is the uh, water uh, gets siphoned, basically off the bottom, which means all the fish solids get pulled up and then out, okay? And the fact that there's a hole there, it doesn't basically start a siphon and then just drain this whole tank. So it comes out of here, goes down this pipe, okay? And goes back into the sump, okay? So what I plan on doing is I plan on basically uh, cutting the pipe somewhere along the lines here or extending it a little bit, it looks like I'm gonna have to. Um, and then have it go into this barrel, okay? Once it goes into the barrel, I'm gonna have a, uh, a uh, uniseal. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I might do a uniseal. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do a uniseal. But anyway, uniseal going in, and then I'm going to have a little elbow, right? As it comes in, I'm going to have a little elbow that turns and basically starts to swirl the water, right? And as it swirls the water, I'm going to have it slightly at an angle, though, to where when it swirls the water, it's going to swirl it down, and then eventually it's going to have to come back up. Okay, and then spill out, okay? So that's kind of how I'm gonna plumb it. I'm gonna have a drain at the bottom though, and I see a lot of people drilling holes through the bottom and having this usually up on a brick and then drilling holes in the bottom and then having a tap, you know, outside of the thing here. Uh, but you really don't need to do that. You can drill in through the bottom, like about an inch up, and then just have a little 90 degree that points down and almost touches the bottom of the barrel. And then when you go to drain out any built up solids, you just turn on the tap and it'll pull it up and out through that 90 and out through the drain. And I'm gonna probably have it to where it comes out here somewhere, because this is outside the aquaponics system. And then I just put the stuff into my plants or my garden beds. Um, but anyways, so after I get the swirl filter done, what I'd like to do, uh, you know what, let me grab something real quick. All right, so like I was saying, what I'd like to do is when it basically fills up and then it drains back into the sump, before it hits the sump, I'd like to set up something kind of like this. Um, bear with me here. 
I'd like to set up something to where the socks basically, you know, uh, cut holes for the socks and put the socks to where they're hanging down, obviously. And then uh, just have the water kind of spill into this. Probably take out the center console and put like maybe six or four of these here so where the water it spills into here and then it has to go through those socks. Now I'm going to have 100 micron socks. So that should clear up any, basically all stuff. And then I take whatever builds up in the socks because they will get clogged. I take that and I put it into my worm farm. And uh, yeah, it's just this closed little loop. So anyway, if you guys like this video, uh, I got something coming. This is going to be coming soon, you guys. And then I got a pump and all kinds of stuff that I'm going to be setting up out here. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, show me your systems too. I'm on Instagram and all that, you guys. So God bless you. And uh, yeah, like always, <laughs> peace. Post some comments below. I want to connect with you guys. So later.